2009, we discovered life on another planet. A planet 20 million light years away. We sent a message of peace, a message of friendship. Five years later, we received their response. Within hours, 90% of the planet's population was destroyed. The invaders changed the planet's atmosphere, creating an eternal night, the sun forever covered by the dark clouds. The survivors fled underground, living in fear of the machines that now walked the Earth. Function. Why would you think that? There hasn't been any movement along the green line in weeks. Now all of a sudden there's massive movement forward. Over the green line. Everything appears to be functioning. The scanner on the surface may have Andrews, been... monitor the western front. Here it is. I'll be damned. Contact General Van Ryberg. Tell her they've crossed the line. The machines are advancing. Why are they advancing? Unknown. They are preparing for war. The time for a direct strike has come, Mr. Chairman. The director of the Science Guild is going to give military advice. The Science Guild has made a technological breakthrough, and the time for our attack has come. The military guild exists to protect our way of life. Not to organize a mass suicide that will jeopardize everything we have built. We are not ready for an assault. We need to take this planet back. What you speak of is of great risk to our society. Moments ago, you reported the machines are advancing, coming closer every day. Mr. Chairman, this is our time. Who do you want there? All of them. All of them? You heard that, idiot. They waste a hundred years and can't figure out a way to get us off this rock. And then, they want to pin it on us. We've got a suicide mission to plan. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, this baby's gonna do some damage. If they do anything at all, these plasma blasters, they may bounce right off of them. Now, now, gentlemen, let's try and stay positive just because. No one successfully taking one of these tin heads on doesn't mean that we don't have a shot at sending one of these overblown toaster ovens to the scrap heap, hmm?
All right, people, listen up. We've arranged for cargo transport to take you to the surface. You will depart at 0700. Dr. Tadish will explain your objectives and give you an overview of the hardware. Doctor. Thank you, General. You are to subdue and secure an operational Zetabot. We will need to neutralize and demobilize it so that I can extract its primary fuel cell. Sounds like a lot of work. Why don't we just ask them nicely for one? Commander, pay attention. Sorry, sir. To catch the bot, we're going to use this. It's a miniaturized version of our electromagnetic or EMAG technology. It will create a magnetic force field within a six foot radius. Anything caught within that force field will be subject to its magnetic pull. Once the bot is trapped, I will extract the cell and then you will return here and regroup for the second phase of this operation. Second phase? Excuse me, sir, but I was informed this would be the only mission. We are in the process of reviewing surveillance and intel to prepare for phase two, Captain. Understood? The rest of your gear will consist of UV goggles, NKD, airborne grenades. Cool. Looks like we get a mess with those little nuclear frisbees, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And a variety of plasma blasters and assault rifles. Which, if all goes well, we will never get to use. That's right. Blackthorn, care to explain your strategy? Yes, sir. We lie low this entire operation. We engage one of these tin heads and they will rain hellfire back down upon us. This operation is strictly covert. We roll in, set the device, catch the bot with his pants down, let the good doctor do her thing. All the intelligence we have suggests they consider us merely a nuisance. So long as we stay out of their way, they will not interfere with us. So we will stay out of their way. What about those brain scans we hear about? There is no direct evidence of that technology. Why? Why now? What's the point of this? This mission is part of a longer term defensive strategy. No, the robots have started moving in patterns we've never seen before. This could give us an edge if they decide to move offensively. This is what you were trained to do. You're the best. That's why I picked you. All right, that's it. Review your team assignments and organize at docking bay two at 0630. Blackthorn, Clinton, you two will be leading squads. We'll be in constant contact, so you'll be taking direct orders from the general. On the field, follow Blackthorn's lead. Any questions? Dismissed. Blackthorn says he's ready to move. Copy that. This is Cargo 2 requesting permission to launch. Cargo 2 is clear for launch. Copy. Status. They're about to exit the cargo transport. Do we have visuals? Only radar and sonographic imaging, sir. No video. As soon as they reach the surface, let's establish contact. Yes, sir. This is worse than I thought. Copy that. We sure we want this place back? Clinton, take your men over there, behind that cover. Go! Move! Go! Bowers, little sister, fall back. What exactly am I buying? This whole mission. They're holding back intel. Just following orders, Commander. Open communication. Tag teamed, Commander. Over. Go ahead, Commander. We can hear you. Preparing to deploy EMAGs. What is the bot activity? I can't see anything here. You've got a better view. What do you see down there? Looks like we got zero activity along the western perimeter. Heavy Z-Bot movement along the gray line. Copy that. Deploy EMAG. Let's 
Kill. Emag deployed. Now we wait. Clinton, do you see anything? Negative. We should take these things on. Full assault, guns blazing. It's starting to sound like one of those revolutionary types. Maybe they were onto something. Well, we'll never know. Most of them are serving 100 year sentences. I don't know. Gentlemen, let's move out. Command, do you hear that down there? Affirmative. You see anything up there? Negative. Command, do you see anything? Nason. Negative, sir. No movement. Nothing. McGuire to Blackthorn. They haven't moved. What's the status? There's a loud sound. Like an engine powering up. Where's it coming from? Everywhere. It's all around us. <laughs> sir! We have a situation here. What is it? One of the team is severely convulsing. He's hemorrhaging from his nose. Pull them. Get them out of there. Commander, retreat immediately to the drop point. Abort mission. Repeat, abort mission. Copy that. We're out of here, people. It's a brain scan, I told you. They're holding intel. These things are for real. I'll be sure to bring it up with them as soon as we get back. Now let's move. What's going on? Follow the team back down to the drop. I'll explain on the way. Clinton! Cover us on our way back to the drop zone, then fall back. Copy. Cover them. Expect anything. So the scans are real. Apparently. Damn. If their position's exposed, they may have to engage. Sir? What is it? These enemy targets just appeared out of nowhere. What do you mean they just appeared? These two positions were initially identified as part of the terrain. Now they're showing up as enemy targets. What the hell is that? Them. They're in our communication system. Blackthorn, get the hell out of there. It's a trap. Repeat, it's a trap. We are getting out of here now. <laughs> Holy shit! He's right behind us! Fire! Come here, we have engaged! Repeat, we have engaged! Signal Commander Lux. Launch a full fighter squadron to provide air support. Hold that order. If we launch, we expose our location. But we can't just leave them out there to Hold die. Hold that order. We have incoming ARVs. Send air support. Repeat, send air support. Do you copy? Stick to the plan. Get the doctor back to the drop zone. Go! Now! Sir? Command. The ARVs have landed. They surrounded us. They're changing. Close the communication systems. Shut it down. Shut it all down. What are you doing? They've infiltrated the communication systems. Give them any more time, and they'll close in. So they are on the offensive. Pull up the next in line for promotions. Have them meet me in my chamber in 30 minutes. Yes, sir. Sir, I have a recommendation. Easy, Ursa. You've had your promotion two weeks. You want to jump in? As part of my training as a military historian, I review the combat history and personality profiles of all remaining officers. And? 
there is one man who would be perfect for this assignment. It's as if he designed it himself. Don't you say it. He's perfect, and he would want to do it. And the machines can't read his mind like they can most men. Why? He's ruthless. He's cold. He thinks too much like them, not enough like us. Warren Mitchell is a wild card. He's not controllable. This mission requires someone that will follow orders to the letter. If something happens, it will lead the machines right back to us. The Lady Death protests too much, methinks. Exandria, would you like to join us? Well, Mitchell lived above ground for years. He knows what's up there, and he's the only human who has successfully confronted them. Hell, he probably provided the intel to the Science Guild to come up with the scheme in the first place. Warren Mitchell is a traitor. He's the best man we've got. And I'm sorry, <laughs> but I don't see any of you jumping at the chance at this. Do you really think that the chairman's going to prove this plan led by a junior officer or a cadet? No offense, Ursa. She's right. They would expect one of us here to do it. Mitchell has proven himself to be a radical. We cannot trust him. Agreed. It's far too dangerous. If he fails, he's oh, gonna lead them straight on. back to us. You do not fear his failures. You fear his success. If this works, then it invalidates everything you stand for. If we fight this machines and it leads us to freedom, then he was right all along. Your cowardice blinds you. I don't see you in a cryogenic freeze chamber. Perhaps you're the coward, afraid to stand behind your own beliefs. But if Mitchell leads this operation, I will follow. And so will others. Good day. Almost immediately. Minor side effects. Good. We don't have much time. Maguire, you're a sight for sore eyes. It's good to see you too, buddy. Wish it weren't our better circumstances. Is that so? And there I was thinking there was a coup going on while I was under. How long was I under? Five years, 16 days. Van Ryberg gave you this pardon. She needs your help. That's a bit ironic, don't you think? Well, at least I was the first choice. Not quite. Blackthorn made the first attempt. He failed. Whatever it is, I won't do it alone. What about Walker or Itchy? Walker didn't survive the freezing process. Itchy's still under. Then I need him. And anyone else who was loyal to the cause. You're going to have to take that up with her. So be it. Do I need an appointment? You're in the position to ask for nothing. I'm not asking, I'm demanding. Giving pardons to your cronies was not part of the deal. Now, you've been restored to active service with rank of captain. Therefore, you will obey my orders. You are lucky to be here. Lucky. General von Ryberg. When you are frozen, your brain is still functioning. For the last five years, I've had a single dream. Of a world that doesn't exist. Of a world where you can see the sun. And every day, I bathed in its warmth and in its light. And now you've brought me back to a world that is cold and dead and hopeless. I think I'd rather you just put me back. All right. You get one. <laughs> that sucked. The dizziness will wear off in a bit. You should clean up, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? What the hell? 
Captain. It's been five years. Things have changed a bit. Uh, yeah. Obviously not for the better. <sighs> Lieutenant. Get dressed. a military operation against the machines. After speaking with the military advisory council, you two have been chosen to lead that mission. Oh. Uh, well, then I, I get it. Yeah, ice is out for five years, and then you thaw us out to do your dirty work. I don't need to explain myself to you. You've been convicted of treason. You threatened our safety. There's no peace without freedom. There's no freedom without a fight. We're not going to have some pointless ideological debate, Captain. I'm not afraid to fight. And I will do so when the time is right. Oh, and when will that be? If you're successful, soon. Very soon. But you must understand that my responsibility is to the safety of the people. And to that end, I will help you in this mission, but our resources are limited. Well, that's all right, because we're used to doing a lot with nothing. Come on, look. I'm not the enemy. The machines are. Just remember that. Well, that's a little difficult, seeing as you personally had us tried, convicted, and sentenced. I was doing my job. <clears throat> the old following orders excuse. Itchy. No, just hold on a second. I'm gonna go up there, and I'm gonna handle my business because that's what I do. But I do not take orders from you, General. I follow this man, and that is it. What you did was wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like everything is A-OK. -okay because it's not. Yeah. Permission to be excused, sir. Granted. He hasn't changed a bit. I can see why you chose him. Well, he is the best. Are we finished? Yes. Warren. Stay away from her. She's made her decision. Of course. I've only ever wanted her happiness. And if she is happy, so be it. We were married three months after your sentence. Just keep that in mind. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Come in. I can't stay long. I just wanted to check in with you before the briefing. Would you like a drink? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm fine. So it's official? Yes. Almost five years. Have you suffered any side effects from the cryo-freeze? It's just some dizziness. Nothing serious. They don't normally pull people out from a deep freeze. You had a 100-year sentence. And it seems to have been commuted in favor of the death penalty. Well, now's your chance. You can prove all of us wrong. <laughs> I didn't come here for an apology. And if I did, I should be giving one to you. We both did what we thought was right. There's no need to apologize for that. I should go.
Hey, Mitch. You think being frozen for five years might chill you out a little bit? They're ready. This doesn't look good. I'll weed a few of them out. Hesitation guarantees casualty. When I give an order, you act quickly and decisively. Sergeant Tucker, step forward. Hit me. Sir? Ha! Hesitation guarantees casualty. Smythe, step forward. Sir? Hit me. <laughs> Execution is equally important. Do not hesitate and execute every order fully. The rest of you, hit me! <laughs> Show off. Why not you, her? She stays. Everyone else dismissed. Those kids are not going to make it. Plan B? Christ, plan B. Put the word out. We need more volunteers. Is this off the record? Yes, very much off the record. Now, violating the direct order and inspiring others to do the same. Now, isn't that precisely the reason why me and you got turned into ice cubes in the first place? Itchy, itchy, itchy. What have those ice crystals done to your poor brain? <sighs> Orders were made to, to be, be eaten, eaten before, before the, the main, main course. course. Good. Oh, and itchy. Yeah. Please, get me some smokes. I'll let you know if I find some. Make it quick. Thank you, General. So, Secret of Itchy, what's up? We need your help. Van Ryberg's volunteers are a bunch of kids. I don't know why you're so surprised. Word of Blackthorn's team getting smoke spread pretty quickly. You know, volunteer ranks are thin. What about you guys? We're forbidden from even associating with you, okay? It's the only thing we could do to keep from going into the ice cube. Blair, if there's anybody that I know that can break orders, you can break orders. Right. All right, fine, fine. Wouldn't be like I haven't done it before. Good, and talk to the others for me. Yeah, I'll talk to Lux, see what she can do. Excellent, and uh... You owe me a dinner. Yeah, I think that was five years ago. Better late than never. Okay. Uh, the briefing is in the morning. Bring who you can. Oh, hey, Itchy. Brought you these. Oh, thank you. You're a doll. That's Commander Doll to you, Lieutenant. Oh, ouch, Ooh, Lieutenant. That's easy. The task we've been charged with is not an easy one. 
But if we are successful... We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men. Leaning together, heads full of straw. Welcome, Zandria. Permission to break direct orders and cause mass destruction, sir. Permission granted. Our lives, the lives of everyone we know, will never be the same. You will follow my orders, but you do not fight for me. You fight for yourselves, for your loved ones, and for all the generations that follow us. Dr. Alexevich. Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Boleslav Alexevich, and, uh, well, I've, I've, I've come up with this little idea. Um, Inside each machine is a fuel cell. It is their power supply, but it is also their primary form of um, communications. Uh, they are sentient, which means that they uh, uh, think for themselves on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, but they do have overriding commands, which uh, come from a central computer system. What we do is we take a new code and we uh, program it into one of these fuel cells. And uh, the fuel cell is then inserted into the system mainframe uh, and then the system mainframe then sends out a signal which orders the machines to um, shut down uh, all of them that's it <laughs> we just march into bot hq guns blazing and make a deposit oh sounds easy it's actually more complex huh when we terminate one of the robots the fuel cells instantly shut off we need to capture one of them first so the science guild can alter the fuel cell while it's operation. It's their uh, countermeasure, their internal countermeasure, which ensures that uh, we, well, that we don't do what we're trying to do. Good. We will divide into two teams. Commander Lux will lead one division, I the other. We set up an ambush on a Z-Bot patrol. We take out the entire unit, save one. The remaining bot becomes our special guest. And they can read any communication transmissions, so any telecom devices are strictly off limits. Just good old-fashioned hand signals, the occasional yelling, and uh, once we capture the bot, we take it back to a secure location, transfer the data. Wouldn't it be safer to bring it back here? Oh, no, 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 no. These uh, fuel cells, when active, are uh, tracking devices, and if uh, we bring it back here, they'll know exactly where we are. We move 0800. Take tonight to talk to your family. Rendezvous here, 0700 to suit up. Questions? And once we're successful, what then? We regroup at the beta point, then launch an offensive at the tower. Dismissed. I hope you don't mind that I volunteered you to lead a division. Not at all. I wouldn't have it any other way. Karina, what a pleasant, pleasant surprise. Spying on us, are you? Do us a favor and save your court martial bullshit for when we get back. Don't mind her. I try not to. Why are you here? To sign up. I'm going with you. You must be joking. I doubt your wife would approve. You of all people should know that no one controls my actions. Oh, all too well. 0700, here. I'll see you then. What are you smiling at? Trouble. Here. Uh, you look like you can use one. Thank you. You're welcome. Me and the boys are gonna get some drinks, be nice and hungover for you tomorrow. Are you in? <laughs> no, thanks. What? Come on. What do you gotta do? I think I might just read a book. That's uh, exciting. 
Figure out a way to carry three guns and... S Ooh. What the hell are you guys doing with our stuff? You're not going to need it. We're coming back. Right. I always wanted a top bunk. Me too. No, seriously, step away. We're aviatrices. We're supposed to stick together. The core is one. The leader is going with us. If there's anyone stepping out of their rank, it's you. We're not risking our lives for some ridiculous pipe dream. Neither are we. Step away from her face, Lieutenant. Get away from my stuff, Captain. Are you violating a direct order from a superior officer? I'm violating a direct order from a coward. Oh. Uh. 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 Other. Now, what is the problem? That's the truth! We're going to be a shit at it! What is the time? Captain! Captain! We're just trying to figure out what to do when you don't return, sir. Huh. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, Rand. You were abandoning the squad. I'm going to save the world. And you had a chance to come with us. I'm not going to jeopardize my career. <sighs> Your career? Is that what this is about to you? Your career? I did not sign up for a paycheck. I signed up to fight. This war has been going on for hundreds of years, and we just now decided to fight it today. They were right about you. You're a traitor. And I am a hell of a lot tougher than you. Let me go. I will give my life for any of you pieces of shit in this room. And if that's being a traitor, Captain, so be it. Ladies and gentlemen, a toast. May the brave soldier who never turned his back on his enemy never let a friend turn his back to him. Salute. What's wrong? You're not drinking, sweetheart? I don't drink. What, no booze? That's a little boring, don't you think? Well, technically she doesn't drink anything. Uh, she is an android. <laughs> Come again? No, a robot. But not like one of them. I mean, I built her. I backward engineered their technology just a little bit. Hey, I think I'm going to turn in. The company's a bit much for me. See you guys. She looks so real. Well, it's great, isn't it? All synthetic? How many of these things have you got? Just her. And one other one, but that didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it. Oh no, a failure? Of sorts. Say, Doc. <clears throat> hey, uh, when I get back, do you think you can build one for me? Well, I don't see why not, hmm? Excellent. Excellent. Another risks. I have a little faith. You won't. You don't know that. Not to them. <laughs> hey, not to them. And certainly not to him.
They're all here. They're ready to go. Good. I have lunch clearance. It rains up there 24-7, so watch your footing. Do not power your weapons until we're ready to engage. They can sense our energy signatures. And most importantly, if you feel dizziness, if your ears start to ring, or if your nose bleeds, count backwards from 100. It's a brain scan. That means they're close. Anything else, Captain? Nope. Follow my lead. Watch your backs. Watch everyone else's backs. Leave no one behind. Good. Let's do this. Move out! Take your team up there, the high ground. All right, you got it. Jones, you're going to take your team south. All right, men. You three, spread, spread out. out. Take Lots cover. Remember the shot order. The last one's mine. How many? Standard 20, two lines of 10. I'll stay here in case you miss. I don't miss. Just in case. They're close. All right. Wait for the go, no go for Mitch and watch the crossfire. Lock off on yours. Wait for the queue. Copy. It's been an there. hour. Sir, our scouts report seeing heavy weapons fire on the engagement field. Sir? 
Give them another half hour. Then lead a recon team to look for survivors. On it. Look, itchy! Yes. Take out that platform! After Blair. Hey, what's the good word, Gabby? We head for the beta point, then I go back for her. No, we go back. Copy that. Let's move. Status. They're underway. Let's get prepared. I'm going back for her. What? Well, can we just handle this guy first? Mitchell, we need you. All right, she doesn't want you to jeopardize this. Shut up a perimeter. They'll be on us in minutes. Three and a half to be exact. Got it. One, two, Three. Not what you expected? No. Will it still work? Uh, it should. I... We always theorized the machines were created by an alien race, but... They are the alien race. anyone. I was afraid. Just like everyone else. You did the right thing today. Thank you. 
One minute. Tell Mitchell we gotta haul ass! All right. No good, sir. Itchy. They sent the cavalry. Doctor, we need to evacuate. Now, we're not finished. Leave it, we need to move. They've already moved past the farthest markers and they track our location. You know as well as I do, the machines will be in the city in a matter of hours. We cannot lead them right to us. We'll find another one. We have to move now. <sighs> Doctor. Take our supplies. We're evacuating. Itchy, we're moving out. Take it. But, sir! Just do it. <laughs> Let's move! Advisory board member, advise. I say the direct approach is best. Let's rush forward and draw their fire. The guns blazing. Wouldn't have it any other way. Now it's our turn. Come on, Mitchell. We're not going to make it back. No, someone has to get to the tower. Who's going to do that, Von Ryberg? Good point. I'll cover you. Go. All right, I'll make it back to that region, then I'll cover you. Good. Go. Go. Well, I never thought I'd be glad to see you. Come on. They're inside. Move it out! What the hell were you thinking? Corinna is still out there. I'm going back. Like hell you are. Raphael, prepare the team. I'm going up there. Yes, sir. Hold that order. What? I will go. You have to ensure that this mission is completed. They are closing in. Why aren't you moving? I don't care. She's my wife. And a soldier. Look, if she's still alive, I will find her. You have a responsibility to stay here. Don't lecture me. Gentlemen, you need to come to the lab at once. Prepare the troops to escort Mitchell. Let's go. Rand, juice everything, and make sure we're flight ready at a moment's notice. Copy. Welcome back, sir. Thanks. Ladies, suit up. It's going down. What the hell is that thing doing here? We had no choice. I told you to leave it! Terminate it. Terminate it immediately. If the tracking device is working, it's already too late. How much more time does he need? There are...
ramifications. Now, j just hold on a second, all right? It's not over yet. Explain. All right, um, well, the Z-Bots are entirely mechanical, but these ZZ guys, well, they're partly organic. Well, actually, they're cyber-organic, which is really cool. Doctor, but, uh, please. All right, all right, all right. I was planning on putting the machines on a temporary power supply to make the transfer. But? But this organism may die if I do so. Recommendations. Do your best. What have we got to lose? I agree. We have to at least try. Do it. Um, hydro clamps. Uh, thermodimes. Slowly. Slowly. Doctor. Doctor, we're losing it. We're losing it, Doctor! It's dead. Damn! They found us! They've breached all perimeters. Just broken through the perimeter, General. Organize the decoy team to intercept. Get them away from the city. This is it, Tolan. We should launch full countermeasures if the decoys fail. Veers. All out assault and full deployment of our countermeasures. That's our best defense, General. Make it so. Mitchell. Sir. Make sense of this mess. Reorganize your team. And finish your goddamn mission. Yes, sir. The chairman requests an update, General. We're at war. How's that for an update? That is unacceptable. I still With need With all due respect. There is no time for debate and deliberation. Sir, we're at war. I've been entrusted to protect the population. So, are you gonna let me do my job? So be it. Thank you. Heat it up. All of it. Something is going down. There has to be another way. There is. Well, speak up, what can we do? We transfer the fuel cell to another bot. That's right. Her. We can use her. A different type of fuel cell, proprietary technology. Where then? We're running out of time. Oh, Susie isn't the first android that I created. She was the second. Well, technically the third, but the third one really Doctor. didn't work out. And, okay. The first one I created was for the military. The plan was to build an ultimate soldier, a, a machine to fight the machine. Stronger than any human, full of resolve, averse to fear. As a machine, it would be impervious to their brain scans. Perfectionist. I made you to human. I gave you the ability to feel, care, love. And most importantly, I gave you the one desire that the machines have stripped away from humanity. Hope. I made a machine that could hope, a machine that could dream. I've always known. I've always known. Of course you have. You are self-aware. No one in the military even questioned the fact that you were the first human being found above ground in over 100 years. You assimilated perfectly into society. Then your attempted coup derailed our project. They didn't trust us anymore. Do it. 
Give it to me. The transfer of the fuel cell information to the tower will terminate your fuel cell. You will die. Fine. There is another way. We can download your memories, create another version. I've lived my entire life as a human being, Doctor. Allow me to die like one. Communications are operational. Get to your divisions. Launch all fighter squadrons. Sabir? Sir. You got the comm. Yes, sir. I'll take command of Alpha Division. Here goes nothing. Let's go, Doctor. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't leave. Ever. Come on. You can bring your girl. She'll protect you. We need you. There cannot be any complications. I'll get my things. So, I hooked a cargo transport to my fighter, but I doubt I can carry your weight the entire time. It's a start. All right, you got it. If you're looking for some sort of inspirational pep talk, I don't have one. One isn't needed? You got maybe 30 minutes. They breached the gray line on all sides. Once we're out of EMAGs, that's it. Um, you're not out by then. Good luck. Thanks. You too. Mitch. Find her. I will. Alpha team, move out. Oh, no, no, I can't. Oh, I'm you done. will. Watch where you point that thing, Dex. Delta, launch full squadron and stay in tight formation. No plasma interference from any of our positions. What are they waiting for? Ugh, there's too much weight. I'm not going to be able to get you all the way there. Just get us as close as you can. Copy that. They're launching an all-out strike. We should open up communication. But if they're not, we risk... Commander, if they don't already know, we need to warn them. Central Command. Corinna? It's me. Are you?
you okay? Affirmative. They're launching a massive offensive. We know. Where are you? Outside the tower. Wait. <laughs> to do. Mitch! We take these. Nice. You know how to fly these things? No. Looks, open the back hatch. Squad, follow my lead. Flight pattern 226. Copy, flight pattern Delta 226. are in place. They are charged and ready for deployment. Wait it out, Bears. You've only got one shot at this. Take cover, men! We're blasting the E-Bags!
Where's Nadir? Where's Nadir? Out of time. If we get to the tower, there's no time to waste. This world dies with her. Wait! You're alive. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Wait till we get inside to play googly eyes with each other. Please. Let's go. They've breached all perimeters. Perimeters. Did the EMAGs have any effect? Minimal. They're closing in. Start the evacuation process. Evacuation procedure is set. Waiting for a go, no go for launch. Countermeasure! 
Ideas? We could try a grenade or NKD. I have a feeling that might just sprout more guns. It, it's biological. It's a bioscanner, not a motion sensor. It's dead ahead, behind that door. I'll go. What? Get to safety. If I fail, Ron Ryberg is going to blow this entire place. You'll die. Make sure they get out of here. You got it, Chief. Don't do this. It's the only way. It's always been the only way. <laughs>
The early attacks came as a surprise to us all. All except the political powers that be. They knew what we know now. The machines were already here. So, you want to tell me where you were? Oh, you are such a liar. I have had it with your crap. No, 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 no. You, you listen to me. We are through. Yeah, I want your stuff packed and you gone when I get home. And if I see that damn guitar of yours, I swear to God, I'll start a bonfire with it. Why am I being like this? Because you're a scumbag! Officer, um, I wasn't speeding. I was actually looking... Ma'am, are you aware there's a new California law making it illegal to talk on a cell phone while driving? Mm-hmm. I was gonna get a Bluetooth today. Right now, actually. Good, good. Probably on your way to Los Angeles, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Probably didn't even notice that you were about to pass right through our little town here. Is this a quota thing? Do you have to give me a ticket? It's a safety thing. Talking on the cell phone driving is dangerous. You just be careful. Whatever conversation you have to have can wait till you get home safely. All right? Yes, officer. All right. You might want to put the top up. It's going to get mighty cold out there in the desert. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Can I go? Yeah, sure. Are you still laughing at me? No, I didn't get a ticket. Why? Because some people think I'm beautiful. That's why. Oh my god. Bad news? Is this correct? These came in about 20 minutes ago from the SETI station outside the Nubian lab. It's a ping. They're communicating? Sending, not receiving. Can we decipher? We're on it. The signals are an infrared spectrum. Is there a wavelength pattern? It's off the spectrum. We don't know it. Find. Find Dr. Josephine Summers. Hey, Joe. Vanilla latte, skinny, sugar free syrup? Yeah. Will you run it? You guys have got to fix your public transportation. <laughs> well, this isn't New York City. You live in LA, you need a car. Well, I have a car. Do you think it's too much to ask for a decent subway system? You know we do have a subway system? Not a working system. It's a technological disaster. There's no warning signal. I wouldn't go down there if you paid me $100. <laughs> well, here you go. Thanks. 
Oh. There you go. There should be enough on there for the tip, too. Hey, Collins. It's a hell of a morning, huh? How's Amy? Now, that's a loaded question when it's coming from you. Oh, I didn't mean anything by it, Maya. Come on, Walker. Hey, Hadley. Hey. Hell of a morning, huh? Yeah. How's your niece doing? Amy? She's recovering, thanks. They had to put a pacemaker in her, like an old man. Can you believe that? Technology today is amazing. She's only 23, you know. She'll do great. She's stronger than all of us, that's for sure. You first on the scene? Yeah. That impact wound, is that from a pencil or pin? Could be a bullet. Thought this was supposed to be a sleepy little town, Mayor. I don't know what you're implying, Dr. Collins, but we don't have gangs here. <laughs> Everyone has gangs. Even Conway, with a population of 30, has gangs. It's not a gunshot. Why'd you say that? The entry wound. It's cauterized. Huh. No kidding. Mm-hmm. From the heat. Burnt right through to her brain. Well, entrance is established, but exit. But it's not a bullet wound. I'm sure about that. Well, nothing is 100%. No, it never is. Where is home for she was carrying a diplomat's license. Her? She's a diplomat. No, her parents. You call them yet? See what I can get from her cell phone, but... Damn. That's one damn phone call to get. Tell me about it. Hey there, Tommy. Got a new helicopter. It's late, buddy. Early. You wanna try it? Maybe tomorrow, buddy, okay? Now I'm home. Sorry, I'm late. Get this freaking thing out again.
Uh, sorry, boss. I lost track of time. Jesus Christ, again? No, 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 no. Listen, I'm, I'm headed out right now. No, no, no. You're sleeping. No, no, no. <clears throat> I'm out the door. What's the address? All right. It's 565 Flower Avenue. You know the place? Yeah, I know that address. I'm on my way. Ellie, wake up. I'm sleeping. There's an article in today's paper about the girl that died here. The diplomat's daughter? Yep. What about? The article says that she was alive at the accident. This reporter had witnesses swearing up and down she was attacked. Come on, she was on a cell phone, distracted. That's it. Look, there's this government girl down at Collins Funeral Home. Can you talk to her? About this girl? Yeah. I'm not gonna tell him anything that's not in my reporter that Collins doesn't have in her autopsy. No. But she's somebody's daughter. Ellie, they're just looking for answers, that's all. Getting anything, Nana? I think it might be time to retire this TV set. Want me to make you some soup? I was gonna call you. I mean, you you just been back, what, like a couple of weeks? A couple of months, actually. Uh, good to see you. Yeah. Hi. Um, what are you doing here? You called about a problem with your signal? Oh, you, you work for the satellite company? Yeah. Oh, uh, um, Since... Hello, Annabelle. Oh, hello, Jake. You're so very handsome. Isn't he handsome, Maddie? Shh. This is the best part. Oh, try to keep it down. No, you're not getting anything, huh? Nope. Nothing but... This. Well, I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll go check your satellite.
Jake, get off of me. What the heck is going on? You need to get out of here. Get Nana and get out of the house. Do you hear me? Jake, what is going on? Madison, Why do you have a gun? There is some sort of attack drone outside. Okay, is this some sort of war trauma thing? Is Madison, this some sort of like flashback? Or... Listen to me. Jake, tell me what is going on. Madison, 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 listen to me. You need to call the police, all right? Get Nana and get out of the house. Go. Nana! Come on, grab your things. We have to get out of here. Officer Ryan? Yes, are uh, you the government lady? Mm -hmm. Joe Summers, Homeland Security. Yeah. It's about the uh, diplomat's daughter, right? Yes. I'd like to ask you a few routine questions. You were the first on the scene? Yes, I was. Uh, did the victim have any distinguishing marks that you couldn't explain? Yeah. Like a hole in the forehead without an exit wound and uh, without a bullet. What part of Homeland Security are you with? We track unexplained events of the terrestrial nature. Well, uh, look, Miss Summers, um, it was a simple accident. She was talking on a cell phone when it happened. Uh, you think the cause was the cell phone? Yes, I do. Yeah. I don't know what kind it was. I, I don't use them myself. And where is that phone? Well, that's pretty much a question for the coroner, but I'm pretty sure she uh, she sent it back with the body. That phone's vital to Dr. Josephine Summers. Can I help you? NSA. Dr. Summers, you need to come with us. We need your assistance. It's of extreme urgency. Uh, wait, wait a second here, folks. Uh, I don't know if you'd notice we're in the middle of a conversation here. Officer Ryan, this is a matter of extreme urgency and national security. I'm sure you'll understand. Yeah, doctor. Find the phone. Hadley! Yeah, go for Hadley. It's your niece, Hadley. She's in trouble. Bakersfield, California. You know it's sexy, sexy voice? You have arrived. You have five seconds to exit the vehicle. Oh, what'd you just say? This is your last warning. Exit the vehicle now. Are you talking to me? Prepare to be eliminated. For reals? Three, two, one. Are you one. kidding me? Wait! Jake, uh, 
have to ask you to give me the gun. What for? Let's just say it'll make me feel more comfortable. Someone tell me what is going on here. Jake came over to fix the TV. He goes outside to the satellite and then runs in screaming about robots with a gun. Ro... Jake? I don't know what I saw. The satellite dish turned into some sort of attack drone. What do you mean an attack drone? I mean a robot. Dish is gone. Oh my god. I've got to find a cell phone. What's going on, Hadley? Never mind, just get in. Come on! I'm Lieutenant Colonel Weston. Now, we know that you filed for a SETI charter. About four weeks ago, I found an anomaly in the infrared wavelength pattern. Normally, it's nothing, but the frequency of this one was off the 980 nanometer. What does that tell us? Signals. They're sent via Erlap, Tiny Tim, whatever. And the other device picks up the signal, and communication becomes active. Don't we normally get infrared signals from space? We do, but this one is different because we think, I mean, I think they got a hit. Communicating. So by the looks of it, I'd say you've been back for a few months. So how come you didn't tell anyone you were home from the war? Did you know? Charlie 10. One Charlie 10. Over. Go ahead. Ported Homicide, 5th and Mojave Road. Roger, dispatch on my way. Talk to you later. Is that a good shot? Manny, go back to the car, please. The car threw him out. What did you say? S someone threw him out? pushed him out. Huh. Where is that car now? Drove away, I guess. Did you see who drove the car? Nobody. It drove away by itself. so protective, okay? Okay. Okay. You sound like your mother. You know something, don't you? Look, there is nothing to say, and I am not going to speculate. Well, I mean, what is it? Is it is it robots or, or terrorists or drones or... No, listen, I am trained in this stuff, okay? I'm a specialist in UAVs. These are highly complex dynamic automation systems. Look, you see? See what I'm saying? Look, we're just going to get ourselves into trouble by jumping to conclusions. 
Well, at least he's doing something, which is better than what you're doing. What I'm not doing, Maddie, is I am not freaking out. You know what? Stop the car. I am not stopping. Stop the damn car! Where are you? Hey! You don't just sit there. Go on after her! Madison! I'm sorry I didn't call you when I got back. I was going through some shit, all right? Wait, hold on. It's not what I want to say. I just wasn't ready to see you. <laughs> Look, Jake, this isn't about you. See me, don't see me, whatever. But there's something going on here, and I don't feel safe. Come on, get in. Both of you, let's go. Just get in the car. Come on. Ron, how about it? Don't let my accent fool you, Hadley. I haven't just stepped off the boat. That cell phone has key information. Do you still have it? No. Nope. Your feds came by looking for it about two hours ago. So they have it? Couldn't find it. Strange, huh? Haven't checked my office yet, though. Look, I have to run. I have another body waiting for me on slab B. Oh, they just found the car. All right, all right. You just wait back in the car. I'll be there in a minute. Okay? Go on. Oh, Bron? Still thinking about, uh, you know, maybe dinner late next week? I'll call you. Looks like a normal phone. Hey, put that down. Uh, put it in the uh, gun box. The glove box. Dispatch to 1 Charlie 10. 1 Charlie 10, go ahead. Need a code 2 on I-14 in Sierra. A black SUV, possible hit and run. Anybody get a make on the driver? There's one child in ten. I am in pursuit. Warning, step out of the vehicle right now. Hadley, get in the car! Go, 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 go,
talking to us? What's it saying? I don't know! I don't speak robots! Master Sergeant Major and aided to base we have Van Reinberg. I need you to send a recovery team in for the salt bomb. Don't worry. We took the computer board out of the SUV. Why? It's not going to change on us. So you guys know then? You have a theory? It's being called an RPD. What's an RPD? Robotic Predator drone. Very good. It's a compilation of computer-operated mechanical and electronic instruments. Programmed to kill. That's right. Where are they from, is it? Is it like a terrorist attack or something? Or something, yes. Specialist Van Ryberg, I read your file. Very impressive. Glad to have you here. You want to tell us what the hell's going on? You're the cop, right? The one that was talking with Dr. Summers. Yeah? Is he here? Yes. And you are? They've seen them transmorph. A car, a satellite dish. All right, follow me. Dr. Joe Summers, I'd like you to meet Jake Van Riper. I think the two of you have a lot to talk about. Dr. Summers? The robots are assimilating from an assortment of computer-operated machinery, forming together to serve a common purpose. We need to know what that purpose is. You said the satellite turned into a robot. And the truck. What about that girl's cell phone? Now, don't worry about that. We've got it secured in a cell, made of bulletproof stainless steel, surrounded by heavily armed military personnel. Tell me something. Where do these things come from? <laughs> we built them. In July, 47, that crash in the New Mexico desert. Roswell? That's right, Roswell. The source of modern technology. What we learned from that crash gave us the tools to build every computerized mechanism you see today. <sighs> Little did we know, we were building an army. So, you're saying that all of this is our fault? Actually, it started with the pyramids. Right, the pyramids. Ptolemy's geocentric solar system model. High definition TV, DVDs, toaster ovens, you name it. Tell them about the signal. Two weeks ago, at the same time the machines were attacking, I detected an infrared signal from an astronomical source. You mean an extraterrestrial source? Exactly. So what you're saying is these things are remote controlled? <laughs> exactly. And that's why I'm here. Specialist Van Ryberg here is an expert in UAVs. UAVs? Unmanned aerial vehicles. He's piloted the MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper drones in over three dozen reconnaissance and combat missions over Iraq, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. He was one of the best. Wow. And he's here because he knows more about remote-controlled attack drones than anyone on the planet.
What's wrong? Excuse me. The list is five pages thick, reports of transformations all over the world. Miramar, Las Vegas, Arlington Heights, Camp Springs, Baghdad, Bagram. All those cities have military bases, just like this one. Send out unmanned drone units to Miliops if we knew it'd be a standalone mission. Test the waters, that sort of thing. You got any thoughts on a game plan then? I got a game plan. Let's get out of the room. No. no. Look, we do not know what the hell they're doing out there. They're destroying our defenses, is what they're doing. You take out the general, the soldiers scatter. Okay, so then what? What do you think? A bigger invasion? drones that you piloted. What about? If an enemy had one of those and used against us, how would we defend ourselves? So we'd use a jamming system. Of course, that's it. We blocked the signal. Why? Stop them from communicating. So, okay, so how do we do that? It's like a television with a remote control. You, you press the button, the channels change, right? And, right. And if you put something in front of the TV and press the button, nothing happens. We have a wireless signal jammers in the control tower. How do you know that? I used to be stationed there. Right, then you and I are going to that control tower. It's halfway across the base. Yeah. I'm going with you. No, you are not. You are going to stay right here. Stay. I'll stay with her. Uncle Hadley, you were not my father. I'm going with you. All right. All right. But you, you stay right in back of me, okay? Let's go. We have to get to the tower. Why? They're trying to send a signal, idiots! We need to jam that signal! Damn it, I can't waste time talking about it! What happens once we jam the signal? I can tell you in theory, but you guys are going to have to figure out how to kill it. Yeah, with that. Who's going to fly that? I am. Uncle Hattie, no. You were a pilot? You're not the only one with a pass, Jake. Look, there's a whole army out there to distract I know, them. I know. I can do it, okay? All right, let's do it. Jake, you and I to the control tower. You can talk me through the jamming signal. And who's going to make the distraction? I will. No. Yes. No. I can do it. They're going to jam the signal. You're going to fly the copter. I got it. You sure? Yes. 
All right, Madison, do your best. When we get to the control tower, we'll send you a signal. What is the signal? You'll know when you see it. All right. Bye. Be careful. Good luck, everybody. You sure about this? What better way to go out than saving the world, right? Be careful. You too. Okay, Hadley. Just like riding a bicycle. Damn it, it should be here. Got the roof. Come on. Okay, here we go. Uploading a signal. Well, then do it, Joe, and hurry. Well, it'd go a lot faster if you didn't distract me. I'm not distracting you. Just get it done. Okay, but don't talk because you're making me nervous. I'm not talking, Joe. Just get the goddamn signal set. You're still talking. Taste this, tinhead. Okay, I got a signal. Guys, it's heading straight for the tower. Tower, do you hear me? If it gets to the tower, it'll send its signal. Tell him! Tell him! Don't let it get to the tower! Say again. Don't let it get to the tower! Get away from that tower now. You get half the unit sight! Quick, go, 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 go! Time, Joe. I don't know. Jake. Jake, if you can read me. Find Maddie. Take care of her.
All computer systems across the globe were temporarily shut down. Any machines that contained computer chips were destroyed or removed. We were happy. Or at least relieved. How you doing? I'm okay. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. He always thought of you as a son. the best for you. I'm sorry I didn't come see you when I got back. I should have. It's okay. Come on. Where are we going? We're gonna go dance. Oh. <laughs> you know I was never much good at this thing. You can shoot guns and kill giant robots, but you can't dance. I told you. So, you okay? Yeah, I think I'm getting it down. No, I mean, are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. I think I'm the only one that doesn't know what happened to you out there. Well, it's not usually something I tell women over a slow dance. Slow dance with a lot of women, do you? Oh, yeah, tons. But explain your amazing dancing yep. abilities. Hey, okay, I'm just getting started. Give me a few minutes, I'll tear this place up. You're going to take off my foot, so what you're going to do. <laughs> I might. I had a platoon of men under my command. We were running a convoy outside of Basra. We came around this little bend in the road. And an RPG fired at us from one of the houses. Hit the dirt right below us. Hi. I told my men to stay put, and I ran into the house. I acted too quickly. It was an ambush. So when I'm in the house, looking for the guy that shot at us, a team of insurgents opened fire on my men. I heard the shots. Came out as fast as I could, but... By the time I got there, every single one of my men was dead. Well, you did what you thought was right. No?
said. Is that an earthquake? I don't think so. Better get dressed. What's happening? We didn't stop the signal. What do you mean we didn't stop the signal? The machines are coming. Stay here. I'll be right back. their objective. Which was? Well, look around. Do you see any military? No. Why? Because all the systems are down. All the communications down. All the networks, all our defenses. Everything's unplugged. We're sitting ducks. Oh, my God. We have company. What the hell is that? Step on it, Joe. It's to the floor. Get down. Step on it, Joe! Can't this thing go any faster? I'm trying! Oh, God! We're clear! We have to get out of town. Head for the desert. They've taken over everything. They've taken over the entire planet. Joe! Joe, Joe, Joe! 
You okay? Okay. So hang in there, right? You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna make it, Joe. Don't worry. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Joe, it missed it, right? Yeah, it missed it. You're gonna be fine. We're gonna get you out of here, all right? All right. Hang in there. Over here! You're gonna be fine. Okay. Just hang in there. We're gonna get you up. Come on. Come on. Madison, grab the gun. I got the other arm. Come on, come on. Come on, let's get her in the van. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Let's get the hell out of here. We're headed towards Bannon. We're getting the hell out of here. Anywhere but here. Jake, she's gonna be okay? She'll be fine. It's okay. This is Lucius. She's coming back to camp to help me take care of him. Well, Amy and I went to grade school together. How is she, by the way? It's a tiny miracle. If those doctors hadn't put the pacemaker in her, uh, she wouldn't be here with us to witness the end of the world. We gotta get this out, all right? Okay? Here. Bite on these. Mm. Captain three. Ready? <laughs> wait, 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 on three, or are you gonna pull after three? I'll go one, two, and then pull. All right? Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> it's coming, it's coming! Almost there, Joe! Wrap this around you, Joe. We gotta stop the bleeding. Okay? I know. Just stay tight. It's gonna be okay. Okay. You're gonna be okay. What is this place? They trashed my city, son. Those steroid lace tanks pissed all over. So here we are, refugee camps, till we can figure out what to do. There's quite a few of us here. Men, women, children, even a couple of families. What if they find us? Well, something bound to happen sooner or later, but we hope for the best. But we're prepared for the worst. So it's suicide. If we're gonna die, we'll die on our own terms. Don't worry. We're not that exposed. They don't come out this far. You all hungry? Dr. Summers. Yes. What is the difference between extraterrestrials and aliens? Good question. Thanks for the respect. Um, I would say the best way to describe it is an extraterrestrial attacks like a friend. And you there's a moment in the conflict where you question, how am I going to overpower it? Uh, up, over, around, whatever. But this alien, it it attacked like an enemy. And there was nothing for me to figure out. So, what you're saying is that extraterrestrials attack in self-defense. Aliens attack unprovoked, cold and vicious. Fair, I think, fair. Sorry about these beams. Now, when I was mayor, 
Mm -hmm. I could rustle up the best meals from Quincy's now. Just whatever's in the can. There you go. I had this stuff in college, so, you know. Much love. So, any theories on why we're so lucky? Why us? Why now? Why are they here, Dr. Summers? That's a million dollar question. I guess, uh, resources. Minerals, air, water, something. I saw him putting something in our water. What? You're contaminating the water. They're gonna eradicate us. Mayor! Mayor! Something's moving inside her chest. Oh my god, it's the pacemaker! I've seen nothing but death. I have to stay strong. I have to survive this. Look at that. They destroyed almost everything. What's next? Our water? Not if we get to it first. What does that mean? Our resources are dwindling. Without water, we won't last long. We need to survive this. Survive this? He's right, if we survive the invasion. All our resources are disappearing. So, anyone have a plan? Yeah. The Los Angeles Aqueduct. Come on. We got work to do. Okay. Ah, uh, got it. The Los Angeles aqueduct system brings water about 340 miles from the Mono Basin and about 240 miles from the Owens Valley, by gravity to LA. Where does it enter the city, Joe? Right here, Cascades. Three separate water sources, about 70% of the drinking water. How far is that from here? About two and a half hours, maybe three. We'd never make it unseen. No, we can take the storm drain. It's, uh, it runs south all the way from the Mojave. I mean, we won't have a roof over our head, but... So once we got there, how do we destroy it? How many sticks of dynamite we have? About 200 sticks. Guns? Not much. We have a small arsenal. All right, then we take what we have. Women and children, stay here. And if you don't want to go, stay with your families. You'll be understood. I'm going. Me too. Joe, you're hurt. No, it's a scratch. I'm going to. You sure? Yeah. Bastards killed my uncle. I'm gonna miss this for the world. All right, that makes seven of us. Any more than that, will draw too much attention. We go on foot. Stay low, stay fast. Everybody here sticks together. We clear? Get ready.
Joe, you know what you're doing? No, but I'm a quick learner, well, so... Just don't point it at me. Madison, be careful. Everybody set? Ready when you are, sir. How far to the storm guy, Joe? About 300 yards. There's an opening on the right. Just before the wire fence. Everybody okay? Joe, how's the leg? I can't thank you enough. I'm fine. Any idea where we are? Yeah, we're just outside of Santa Clarita. Over that hill is a 405 freeway. Cascades is over that. All right, let's keep moving. Joe, can you walk? I'm good. I'm good. Down, 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 down. Keep quiet. Looks like they figured somebody's gonna drop in the drain. They're locking down all potential hiding spots. What the hell do we do now? Can we stick to the plan? Huh? Out in the open, are you crazy? You have any better suggestions? All right, let's backtrack. This doesn't work. It has to work. Joe has the leg. Tip top. So how far do you think we've come? My guess, a few miles. It's a miracle we haven't run into one of them by now. Guess luck is on our side. Get down, down, down! Get down, 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 down. Ought to have your heads examined. Wandering around out in the open like this. We weren't wandering around, but thanks for the cover. Uh, Wounded? Nah, it's just a scratch. The rest of the team wasn't so lucky. What team? Strike Force team. We were trying to take out the terraforming plant. Unfortunately, the plan backfired. They saw us coming. What terraforming machine? What are you talking about? You don't know? Who are you people? I'm Jake Van Ryberg. These are friends of mine. We were headed south to the aqueduct. We heard they're polluting the water. <laughs> they're not just polluting the water. They're changing it to make it better for them. You know, the water is just part of the equation. They're modifying the entire planet. The atmosphere, the temperature, the topography, ecology, everything. How do you know this? The Russians captured one. They tortured it till it revealed its memory codes. How the hell do you torture a machine? <laughs> Fuck if I know. Insult its motherboard, laugh at the size of its hard drive. I don't give a rat's ass what the Ruskies do. All I know is around here, these things either fight to the death or self-destruct. How many of these terraforming stations are there? Worldwide? There were nine of them. Three of them have already been taken out. In Japan, Bulgaria, South Africa. We were supposed to get the fourth one. Where is it? It's about uh, four miles north of Los Angeles. They're, they're also using the stations as a manufacturing plants to make more machines. So if we take out the station, we stop the reproduction? Uh, well, we can limit their numbers, the better chance we have. War of attrition, huh? You got it. So far, it's been more like a slaughter. So what do we do now? We gotta change of plans. Come on.
They were over under troops. After our attack failed, we split up. They must still be out there looking for our team. On the bright side, we did discover that shooting them directly under their sternum plate seems to destroy them almost instantly. Not only that, but... We did manage to blow up half the building, and the other half is laced with C4. All we need is somebody to detonate it. Volunteers? No volunteer, but I volunteer to go back. If we go back now, we'll be running forever. But if we can take down this plan, we might just have a chance yet. We stick to the plan. Jake? Yeah? What is the plan? I have an idea. You gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. Come on, go. Run as fast as you no, can. No, Jake. Madison, you have to get out come of here. Come on, come on, go. I'm leaving you. Listen to me. Go. You have to go.
our victory came with a price. Destroying the terraforming plants released a toxic cloud of gas. All around the planet, people had begun to move underground to escape the poison. I am Jake Van Ryberg, commander of the Human Resistance. This message is to all remaining human survivors. Wherever you are, I ask you to join me. Join us. We have lost the battle for our planet, but I assure you this war is far from over. For we possess a weapon they lack, the endurance of the human spirit. Surprise.